Hi, Sharon. How are you? Fine, Dr. Capel. How are you? I'm good. Today is your 20th visit. Took a little longer than it should have because of your life My and work life. and yes. everything. Yes. Um, what is the um, greatest accomplishment you've seen since having this course of treatment in your life, like in your daily activities, work, play? Many. It actually touches quite a few of those places. One would be my sleep. You know, I, before I had so much un, or interrupted sleep because of the pain and not being able to sleep comfortably. So now there are times that I actually am going to bed earlier and waking up like in the morning, like a normal person would. <laughs> and another thing would be just putting on my shoes, which was very difficult. You know, it really, when I would get off, get up, I have to sit on the edge of the bed and just kind of do some stretching and turning and, you know, twisting, whatever I could do just to wake my body up because it being so sore and painful that even when you, when I did get down onto the, to walk, it was painful to walk. Just to go to the bathroom and lift the, the seat off the, the toilet it was really painful mm -hmm. so that's quality of life that I didn't have that I have now that's awesome I know I know so it's it's those little things which is so important is yeah so important um, just being able to even when I'm here and I'm on the on the on the decompression table um, I've actually fallen asleep many times so, we say that all the time. People don't believe us, but that's great. Yeah. Yeah, falling asleep, where you know I'm like, wow, I'm, I felt so relaxed. Good. And I find myself just having just kind of burst of energy, you know, afterwards, and, uh, and of course, you know, the company as well. Yourself, Dr. Capel, and, and Valerie, everyone's so nice here. So it it makes it so you know comfortable. Thank you. Yes, thank you that I could come here and just feel like I'm not really coming to a doctor's office and having that like oh I got a doctor's appointment you know it's not like that I can't wait to get yeah there. it's different here it's, it's healing it's very different here yeah this is health care not sick care that's right you know that's right but that's great we, we appreciate it and hopefully your few videos that you gave us will spark oh, something in some stranger to say hey you know I gotta try this I'm sick and tired of suffering yes because um, that's what it is. Yeah. At least when you, when your pain level is up to a ten, and you can bring it down to actually, you know, a five, four, three, two. I mean, and that's where mine have come. So. Yeah. 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 So um, it's huge. And we giving you giving you some tools to do at home and at work and whatnot to kind of, yeah. you know, protect yourself from not going back to those numbers and. It's a conscience keep, now. Yeah. What I do, how I do it. You know, posture was one that I didn't realize that I had a problem with posture because I thought I don't like my children to slouch, so mm -hmm. I don't slouch. Mm -hmm. But like you told me, you made me aware that from X ray and MRI that, you know, there are certain characteristics in, in someone's body when they are compensating for pain. Sure. And that caused my posture to get out of whack. And That's it's like, correct. what are you talking about? I don't have any problem with posture. But I did. Mm. I, obviously, I, I did and I didn't. I wasn't aware of it. So, uh, there's this has touched many parts of my life that I, I would not have known if I, if, you, if I hadn't met you. Good. So, so now you're aware. You're feeling better. You're back to doing things that you like to do, like sleep and put your shoes on without pain. That's, yes. that's such a big thing because a lot of people out there are suffering and... I uh, don't know where to turn and, you know, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired and taking drugs and failed surgeries or whatnot. Yeah, so and this I'm not one of those people. I mean, I'm was in that much pain, but I refuse to take medication. Right. I'm not taking any medication. It'll be two years in June, so... So that's great. I, but you suffered a little bit before you got here. I did. I really did suffer and... And that's what um, we're trying to prevent other people from suffering and losing organ function and stuff like that because yeah. pain is, believe it or not, it's a good thing to say, hey, we got to go get it checked out yes. because if we don't, then there are other problems can happen. Yeah, 
which so, I'd experienced that. Which you experienced not anymore. Not anymore. So now I got this great journey. I can't wait to start getting an exercise routine and jumping out of airplanes. Jumping out of airplanes. She wants to yes. jump out of an airplane. That is so. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much. We have Thank your permission you. to use this social Absolutely. media and whatnot. Yes. yes. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Dr. Kapoor.